U.S. warns Ukraine ceasefire now would result in Potemkin peace. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the United States and its allies should not support a ceasefire or peace talks to end the war in Ukraine until Kyiv gains strength and can negotiate on its own terms, according to Associated Press. As an anticipated Ukrainian counter-offensive appeared to be taking shape, Blinken said, heeding calls from Russia and others, including China, for negotiations now would result in a false Potemkin peace that wouldn't secure Ukraine's sovereignty or enhance European security. We believe the prerequisite for meaningful diplomacy and real peace is a stronger Ukraine capable of deterring and defending against any future aggression, Blinken said in a speech in Finland, which recently became NATO's newest member and shares a long border with Russia. His use of the term Potemkin referred to the brightly painted village fronts that 18th century Russian government minister Grigory Potemkin reportedly used to have built to create an illusion of prosperity for Russia's empress. Blinken repeated the US's view that a ceasefire that simply freezes current lines in place and allows Russian President Vladimir Putin to consolidate control over the territory he has seized and rest, rearm and re-attack. That is not a just and lasting peace. Allowing Moscow to keep the one-fifth of Ukrainian territory it has occupied would send the wrong message to Russia and to other would-be aggressors around the world. According to Blinken, implying that a ceasefire shouldn't be arranged until either Ukraine pushes Russia back or Russia withdraw its troops. Without Ukraine. As I've made clear by virtually every measure, President Putin's invasion of Ukraine has been a strategic failure.